Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I popped to Hobbycraft and I picked up these bits here. So I have already used one of these for a project and you'll see that in due course. But you get, I thought you'd get five. Oh no, four pack. I could have sworn there was five. Anyway, so you get a four pack of these mini wreath decorations. I think, I want to say they were two pound. They're really, really sweet. You can see there, they're very nicely made because sometimes these kind of things can be a little bit naff looking but these ones are actually quite sweet so I've used one of them then I picked up the mini trees again these ones I really like the look of them because a lot of them you get they're squashed in the packaging or where they've been you know um, you know during their deliveries to the stores some of the greens are a little bit funny whereas this one's a real deep green and it's just got just the right amount of snow it's a little bit full up there but they're all really really nice so these are going to be for some of my 3d projects like I said I have been building it all up ready for me to kind of do it and uh, also for shadow boxes I like to make little shadow box Christmas kind of scenes these fit in perfectly so they're not too big they're not too small I do have some original like ones from like the the kind of 60s and 70s so those are like different colors I've got like a quite a bright pink and yellow and things like that so they will all get incorporated as well but you can put a little star on them you can add little you know extras to them so I've picked up those then I've got this one which I wanted now this one was £1.50 which is I think rather expensive for something just like that I would have thought more around 75p pound but I really wanted it because again it's the perfect size cute little Christmas sleigh isn't that sweet? And I'm going to put some um, some string on it as well. I just thought that'd be quite nice. You can obviously paint these if you want. I think I'm just going to distress it with some darker brown because I have an original one of these with the metal on the bottom, which I always had around my tree. So I'm kind of going to, you know, use that as my inspiration in terms of the decoration for this. So that's what I will do with that. So you're going to see this and this all kind of featuring together. It's very, very sweet. And then I already have the artificial snow, which I love and I've already been using but they do have the white beads. Now this is just like in your bean bag, so if you imagine, but this is gonna flow and look really nice in shaker cards and also any snow globe kind of cards that you might do. This is the perfect kind of stuff. So yeah, I picked that up. That was only a pound, I think it was. Really nice to squeeze. I turned the volume off then because it doesn't sound nice, but it feels nice. So yeah, I picked up that. Okay, then I popped into the pound shop and I picked up these. Now they are wine glass charms. Anybody who's not familiar with these, basically it was all together, but I've um, taken them apart and I'd already started to use them in a video. So that's why they've, I've deconstructed them. But they had these beads either side and then one of these hanging and they go around the bottom of your wine glass so that if you're at a party, you know which glass is yours. So you, you know, you'll have this, the snowman or the tree or whatever, but I want some really nice Christmas inspired little dangles and charms to hang off of mini albums and things like that and the ones that I've seen online and in some of the stores they're really expensive just for such a small little thing so I saw these and you know what they are really really like well made they're solid pieces they've been coloured I think really well because usually things like this you know they're they're just coloured badly so I think these have turned out really well I mean look at the tree isn't that really really cute and they're, like I said, they're solid, nice pieces. Now, if you wanted to, you could turn these into jewellery as well. They'd look quite nice as Christmas earrings. But like I said, I've used them to have on my Christmas projects. So these are look lovely hanging off of gift bags and things like that. So if you have a pound shop near you, now I imagine stuff like this will be all over the world in different kind of euro, one euro shops or pound shops or dollar shops and things like that. So I hope that you can find them because I think they're really, really good. And for five for a pound, I think that's really good value for money. 20p so you can't go wrong and then you get these pieces here which I'm sure I will find another use for because they're little clips so they clip in like so again they could be used within my jewellery making and then you get those beads and again the colours aren't too bad they don't go at all with this um, but yeah you got these uh, kind of nice turquoise and the gold there so yeah I picked up two packets I probably will get a couple more packets if they're still there over you know the coming weeks because I think it's again they're timeless and I'll just keep them in my stash because I know they're going to come in very handy so yeah you'll see them in again some up and coming tutorials let the bell I think that's really nice and even his face you know I was checking quite a few of them but they're all lined up and I think they look really sweet so yeah I was pleased with those okay then I just picked up some more of the A4 double sided adhesive tape so I usually get the stick to brand or I've had the Crafters Companion before. Actually, I've had the Hunky Dory as well. So there are a few brands that do them and they're just A4 sheets of double-sided sticky sheets. So it's just like your double-sided tape, 
but in a sheet form. And I use this a lot for when I'm doing like the herringbone technique or when I'm using like glitters and um, just want to make big stickers and it's good for intricate dyes. So you can stick this onto the back of your pattern paper, your glitter card, whatever it is, then put your dye on top, run it through your dye machine and then you can just peel off the back and stick it down. So it's perfect when you don't want to have to use glue on those really detailed dies. So yeah, I picked up them. Again, I'll share the links below. These ones were, I think I found them on Amazon in the end, because I think they were a little bit cheaper. So again, I'll find those links for you. And then a few weeks ago, I got those really lovely dies by the John Next Door brand, and they're like dye plates, and you can just run the plate through and it will cut all the different flowers. Now, when he done his demos, he used a lot of this foam. So this is, I think it's 0. Yeah, 0. 0.8 millimeter. Now that's the very, very thin foam, and that's the perfect foam for using for flowers, flower making. And it's beautiful, it's really nice. I have done some something kind of, yeah, it was a long time ago when it wasn't really the best stuff to use. So, and, um, what I thought I would do is I've picked up white. So I've got a crafter's companion in white because you can add inks to this and you can add pastels and it looks really, really lovely. So I'm looking forward to using this one. And then I thought I'll get this one here because it has red and green in it and these are real nice Christmas colors. And I've got some lovely dyes, Christmas dyes and the, obviously the green and stuff that I wanna use with the holly leaf dye that comes in that set or in the collection. So I'm gonna be using that. And if I just take it out again for anybody that's not seen, you can see just how thin it is. Very, very thin. Normal fun foam is about two mil. So it's like a chipboard, standard chipboard kind of width. Whereas this is very, very thin. And the thing with this is you can twist it, you can stretch it you can do lots of things with this to really make those flowers look like they're very real and it shows you on the back there as well oh yeah that's it you can apply heat so you can use it they're using it on the back of an iron there so I do have an old iron which I use you know for crafting so I'll be able to give that a go as well and you can die cut multiple like layers like you can fold it in half then in half again then in half again put your die on top Make sure you get your sandwich right on your dye machine, run it through and you'll have all your layers for your flowers. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using this and um, I've been holding out using those dyes um, for a while because I wanted to wait for this to come through. So that one, and then I picked up this one here as well, which is the greens because there is just that one green there and I plan to use that for the holly. I thought this one's gonna work well just for the nice leaves and stuff with the other flowers and um, using the white there. So yeah, really pleased with those ones. And then I saw this magazine on Facebook, I think maybe a week and a half ago. And um, I thought, oh my God, I love it, I need to get it. And then I kind of forgot about it. And then when I was in Hobbycraft, I always looked through the magazines and they had it there and I thought, oh, I've got to get it. So let me show you. So you get with this one, you can create these characters. So these are the characters that you can create. They give you the card shapes here, which I will do some like that, or I'll probably do them all because it's only stamped and that's what they're there for. I wouldn't really probably use them for anything else. And then, so yeah, you just basically build them up so it has the scarf. Let me just take this out. So you get these little kind of bits here, which are, you've got a mix of actual sayings. What we've got here, um, Christmas. And we've got holidays, taking out the bits there. Holidays, uh, happy, okay, so you can have happy holidays and then Christmas wishes. So I'm just taking out those bits because they bug me. There we go, and Christmas wishes. Okay, so you get them, and then you get these red glasses, which if you don't want the red, you can turn it over and color it in. You could have black ones. So that's them. Then, like I said, these are your, oh, this is your, oh no, yeah, these are the cards. So there you go, they're only dinky, but they're gonna look really sweet. So that's the cards, and then these are all of the stamps. Turn over for bonus templates. Oh, okay, so that's here. Oh, look what you can do. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so here you can add pause to them so that you'll just cut that out and then trace around it. And then you can add the little envelope. But I have these already made ones, which I think are gonna fit perfectly because once it's folded down, look at that. Oh my God, it is literally meant to be. So the idea is, is that you would have the little envelope then a paw coming around each side so he's holding the letter and then you literally stamp any of the characters and you can mix and match as well. You don't have to have them as they are but I just thought these are things that you can use all year round because the eyes and the glasses and the ears and things aren't, you know, just for Christmas. So even the scarf, that's just a nice winter kind of one. So apart from the present 
and the fish that's wrapped up as well, which I thought was really nice. Yeah, look, you can put the little present. Oh, I love it. But the idea was that it's not just going to be used with this because you can do any shape. And I've got a few kind of, I guess, kinetic style cards in mind to use this. So I'm really excited with this one. I love it. I think it's really cute. If I bring it up a bit closer, you can see what I mean. So like there's the little paws that come around holding the present. I've got the glasses on. And then that one there, she's she's holding the drink. And there, like, they've got the stamped little kind of little bell, but you could put a real bell. I think that'd look really sweet. But they are, they're adorable. You've got the elf. Love that one there. Yeah, really, really nice. I just thought it was a really unusual, and it's nice and big. Like, you can, I mean, you can see they are. That's going to be a nice, nice size. So, yeah, I got that one, and that was Papercraft Inspirations. I didn't even say what it was. And then I shared over on my Facebook page, I think it was the end of last week, that um, Trimcraft let the design team know that now the range have actually made a specific area for all of the Simply Creative product. So up until then you just kind of clicked on something and then you'd have to search for something else and if you didn't really know the name of it, you couldn't, it was really difficult to find. And now you just click on Simply Creative and it will bring up everything within the collection. So I was fortunate enough to be given quite a lot of the Christmas stuff as part of my design team package, which is all in this tub. Because I'm working on Christmas stuff now, I just kind of put it all together. This can then go on my desk when I'm working. And then at the end of you know Christmas, this will all go into another tub and then that gets filed away until next year. So what I wanted to do is we got sent, for example, I got sent the gold tinsel, so I wanted to get the silver. So I've got that one there. Now, the thing about the Simply Creative range is that it is budget friendly crafting supplies. They just do really, really fun stuff. And there's so much to it as well. So do go and have a look if you haven't already. It's not just on the range. There's also on Amazon and you will find some of it on Craft Stash and a lot of other independent kind of craft online stores as well. So yeah, keep an eye out because it is very, very yeah, cheap. So I got the silver there. So I'm going to pop that in there just so I know what I'm showing you. Then I raved about these when we got them. We were all using these when we were at head office. They're just just really, really popular and just so easy to use. And I've already used them on my star card that I done. I used it on the front cover. So I thought, you know, I'm going to get some more now because I know that these will end up selling out. So I already have. I've got one left in the gold and I think I've already used, yeah, the silvers have gone because I've got another project coming. So I've got them just to keep me going. Then we all got sent a different one of these stickers. So I got the gingerbread man and we, I just love them when, again, when we were at head office. So I've got the rest of the collection. So you get this beautiful... Um, snowflake and these are lovely uh, as gift tags but you can also put them on acetate and you can have them as like a shaker there's so many fun ways to do them so I thought I'm going to get the collection then I'm going to do a, a really nice tutorial featuring all of these so I've got the snowflake then I've got the Christmas tree beautiful all with rhinestones on them and then the Father Christmas he's got a really cute face I like him and the penguin so I think that's all of them from what I could see. I could be wrong. Maybe there is a couple more, but I think that's all of them. So there's five there and I just love them. I think they're really, really sweet. So they're all going to go together. And then I've got the felt wreaths and I've used these on a really nice project that you'll see soon. So I thought I'm going to get the felt reindeers and the felt penguins. Super, super sweet. And they've all got the little googly eyes there. Goggly eyes, googly eyes, goggly eyes. Oh, I don't know. They move. So aren't they sweet? So I've got those ones. And then I had the white pom-pom trim so I wanted the red so I've got the red as well and again I've used both of those on a fun tutorial which is coming then I've got the mini snowballs these make fantastic shaker cards they will be quite deep but they look really fun inside so, so I'm going to try and do a, um, a tutorial using these also they're great just to use you know just literally stuck on cards for like the snowfall and you don't just have to use them for Christmas either so they would work on other projects so that's going to go just on the top there then we did get a really nice selection of the dies and stamps. I'm so pleased I got that one because I love that little bear. And there's a really fun tutorial coming with that one. Love them. Um, so I've got those stamps. Oh yeah, and I've got that one which I love as well. And the sentiment. But I wanted the presents because I used that when we were, again, when I was at head office. This one says, do not open until Christmas morning. And then you've got the presents. They're two separate stamps there. So I've just got a nice selection to crack on with. And those are the dies which you would have already seen with the original unboxing. And then these here were another very popular thing that we use on the day. You get 16. These are metallic snowflakes. Let me just take them out so you can see them in a bit more detail. But look, aren't those really, really lovely? Beautiful. 
So, and there's some lovely cards that have been made by the others on the team, which Trimcraft will share in due course. So again, if you don't share, um, don't follow them on Facebook, go check out Trimcraft on Facebook because they've always put up lovely inspiration. And also go over to the Craft blog, which is their website, and there's you can upload your makes there, and there's tons of inspiration there as well. So that was my little kind of simply creative haul. I think I'm going to have to get a bigger tub actually because it's a little bit squashed. <laughs> And then I'm not going to do the unboxing of this. I've already done a separate tutorial, but this is the new Papercraft Society kit. This was something that I've been raving about for about the last six weeks and it's finally here and it's amazing. I've already been making some lovely tutorials with this product, so I can't wait to share those. But if you want to see this in detail, click the link here and you'll be able to see inside. It is beautiful. So do go check that out. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So yeah, go and have a look there for that one. But if you like kits, I think you're really going to enjoy well it won't be this one anymore because this one's gone but you can certainly subscribe for the next ones